They say a picture is worth a thousand words, and that's the idea behind Rochester's third annual No Filter, no filter Photo Exhibit. Joining us this morning to explain what this is all about, Christy Trevorrow, Executive Director of Rochester's Downtown Development Authority. Mm -hmm. so, uh, so this already sounds cool, you know. <laughs> we have Instagram and all these other things, so people are already are into pictures, they love taking them. So could yeah. you tell us a little bit about what this is about? So we had the idea a couple years ago because film's really making a resurgence. And we were trying to figure out a lot of towns do photo contests, but we wanted to get a different spin on it. And so we thought the idea, maybe we could get disposable film cameras and get people to purchase those, take photos, and then we could develop them and see what happens. Oh, okay. So you mentioned disposable yes. cameras, right? Like yes. Disposable photos. Yes. And she brought one. <laughs> they exist. Um, so this is probably important. So if somebody wanted to, you know, join in on this, where could they find a disposable camera today? So actually, um, today, uh, registration starts at 10 a.m. We actually have cameras in stock for people so they can stop by our office, the Downtown Collaboration Studio on Main Street in downtown Rochester, or they can go online to our website at downtownrochestermi.com, and they can register online and then come pick up their camera later. Okay, so, yep, so that's going to be a big one. Now, we were yes. talking about uh, participants that can join in. Now, is this only for adults or can children? join in on this? People of all ages. I love the kids that do it because they never had a film camera. They've always had a phone or maybe a digital camera. So to see there was a little boy last year, he got his packet of photos. No one knows mm -hmm. the packet, the joy of the packet of the photo. See so him spread out on our table and was showing him to his grandparents and his parents. Yeah. He was having a great time. <laughs> <laughs> now tell me this. So with the prints that you have here, yes. um, are these like telling a different story or just showcasing what you've done like in the past with this event? Sure, so this is actually photos from our last two years, but from every uh, photo, or excuse me, every camera that's returned, we choose one photo, we frame it, and then we have an exhibition at our studio in the month of June. So everybody can come see everybody's photos up on the wall, and if you love one, you can purchase it for $20 framed, and the proceeds go back to downtown Rochester to support our downtown events. Oh, okay, so this is something that also it gives back to the community in a way. Absolutely. Oh, okay, so that's good, that's yeah. good. So if you were to join in, if you were to go, I should say, and you were took, took some pictures, what would you do with those photos after that? So then you're going to bring the camera back to us. We're going to go ahead and get that developed for you at our friends down at Woodward Camera. And then we'll give you a set of prints and a set of digital prints as well, because we know everybody likes to share. And then you'll be able to come and see them on exhibit all month long in the month of June at our studio. Okay, so the most important part then, if you want to join in on this and if you want to go, where could people go to, you know, find it and get the information that they need? Sure, you want to go to downtownrochestermi.com. You can go to our What's Happening tab, or if you're interested in registering at 10 o'clock today, go to the Store tab and you'll see the camera right up top. All right, sounds good. So once again, disposable cameras. <laughs> we'll call this a throwback to back in the day, but yeah, you know where to get them now. And this actually sounds like fun. We have our smartphone cameras, but this really... This is more than just the smartphone camera. You know, it, this actually gets you involved with it. And you only have 24 <laughs> shots, so you have to really think about what you're shooting this time. Yeah, and we were talking about it before we even started the interview. Mm -hmm. um, say you have some pictures left. Mm -hmm. Where can people go just to get these photos developed? You know, does the stores still do it? A few stores. So you feel like a Rite Aid or a Walgreens or some specialty camera shops, but a lot of the bigger places just don't do it anymore. Yeah. All right, so to call it a throwback, but this is nice. <laughs> this is nice. So hopefully you'll be able to join in on, on this and head down to uh, downtown Rochester for uh, this event, which is going to be pretty nice. Uh, Christy, thanks for joining us.